There's a question here. Thank you very much. How do you differentiate between godly and worldly wisdom? Now you put a small G, so I'm thinking maybe you're talking about the gods of this world. But I'm assuming Facebook user, you mean the God of heaven and earth. So please, next time you put an upper G for him. He's not a small God. Especially in things that aren't written in the Bible. Excellent question. There are no explicit things for you to follow in the Bible. But you see, the fountain of all wisdom, the God of all wisdom. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus is the wisdom and the power of God. Go to him on that particular thing and say, God, I shut down my desire for the worldly wisdom of this matter. Tell me what to do. Start to seek his wisdom and you will be amazed. He will sift through for you. Each case is different. Each situation is different. When you talk to me about a problem, say for example, someone comes to me and says, oh, my husband did this and he's not doing this and he's not doing that. I'm listening carefully because you're telling me the story from your perspective, not necessarily from what's going on in the home because there will be things you can't see that are causing the issue. So when I'm listening to you, I'm listening carefully and I'm praying under my breath for wisdom. By the time we're done, when the wisdom of God comes upon me, that person leaves with peace in their hearts. And if they follow what the wisdom of God tells us to do, the issues are resolved most of the time. So take it, there's no cookie cutter answer to your story because you yourself don't know the details about your life. You only know about your story from when you are now maybe 18 or 20 or 30 or 60. You don't know your story from when you were in utero. You don't know the stories that went before the stories before the stories that you came. So there's no cookie cutter prayer. There's no cookie cutter scripture for every situation and scenario. So you go back to the wisdom of all ages and bring that particular case to him. It's not written in the Bible, but he knows about it. And shut down the wisdom of the world that may be within you and ask him to teach you himself. And he will begin to bless you with that spirit, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding. It will overcome you. It will fill you up. As it fills you up, you move. As you move, there's an answer. The, the, the main difference, the world will tell you it's okay to cut corners. The world will tell you that wisdom is about yourself. The world will teach you it's a dog eats dog situation. So if you if they before they kill you or they steal from you, you to take whatever. When you look in the book of Proverbs at the beginning, it talks about those who gather themselves together to shed blood. Usually the wisdom of this world will be about yourself. It will be selfish, it will be it will be immoral, and it will be commonplace. That's what everybody is doing. But the wisdom of the Lord, usually it's, it's not easily accessible. You have to pray into it. So I hope that helps. But don't think any case is cookie cutter. You have to take each case, each scenario, back to the wisdom of all ages. Ask him to show you what to do. And be patient because he will tell you. He never fails. He never fails. Thank you for that question.